Disney's Nine Old Men were pioneers in animation. Working tirelessly at their craft, they are responsible for the creative works of animation that we see today. The Nine Men worked together on several key Disney films where they established and implemented their 12 principles of animation. In the last video, we looked at the squash and stretch principle. In this video, we will be looking at the second principle of animation, which is anticipation, and Spider-Man will be our example. Spider-Man is a slim, acrobatic, and agile hero. He traverses New York City by attaching his webs to skyscrapers and swinging his way throughout the boroughs. When going up against his enemies, he's engaging in a fair amount of hand-to-hand -hand combat. With this in mind, it would make sense that his movements involve grand gestures that often use his entire body. When animating Spider-Man, creators have to take this into account, and that is where the anticipation principle comes into play. Take a moment to imagine a person jumping without bending their knees or a pitcher throwing a baseball without pulling their arm back. Would any of that look realistic? As a principle, anticipation is described as the action before the action. It is the subtle gathering before a big movement that gives a hint as to what the movement is going to be. This is done with the goal of preparing the viewer for the movement to come. When animated well, it gives a sense of realism to the movement, regardless of the realism of the character itself. I'll put the goober in and take over the beam. After you're gone, I'll blow it up. Good luck, guys. Take the final fight scene from Spider-Man Enter the Spider-Verse. With his friends in trouble, an invisible Miles Morales comes to their rescue. He makes his appearance as he flies toward the screen to punch Dr. Octopus. Let's look at this scene carefully. Before delivering the punch, Miles pulls his fist back, twisting his upper body and making the delivery of the punch more realistically impactful. And that's not the only example. During the same fight, Spider-Man Noir is seen fist-fighting against the tombstone. He gives him a few good jabs before webbing a car and throwing it down onto him. Noir demonstrates the anticipation principle when he jumps into the air and spins in order to gather the strength and pull the vehicle down. Spidey saved a lot of lives, but is that why I do it? Or am I in it for the thrill? The escape? <laughs> Spectacular Spider-Man was a popular adaptation of The Wall Crawler that premiered in 2008. One very unique aspect of the show was its focus on showcasing the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because of that, the animators would incorporate the anticipation principle very often. Let's look at the scene in which Spider-Man and Venom fight in his backyard. At one point, Spidey is on the ground, and he needs to use his lower body to kick himself back into the air. Watch as he slowly builds momentum by moving his body back and bringing his knees to his chest. This is called a kip-up. Huh. In 2003, MTV aired their own Spider-Man show that takes place after the first of the Sam Raimi films. In this scene, Spider-Man is fighting Electro. In order to dodge an electric blast, he decides to jump off the pole of the streetlight he is hanging from. Before being able to do so, he needs to gather swinging momentum so that he can push off in a grand gesture. What makes this scene so dynamic is the realism of the situation. Even with Spider-Man's strength, he would still need help from the laws of physics in order to achieve the leap he is looking for. The slow swinging as Spider-Man kicks off is a nice touch by the animators. It gets you ready for his big jump, adding to the element of anticipation. Combined with the squash and stretch principle, anticipation helps to create very realistic and dynamic movements. Without them, the characters would seem stale, dull, and lifeless. While these principles are important, they are only two out of the twelve. Like and subscribe to see the next principle called staging. Just like guys, look out! Here comes the Spider-Man! Is he strong? Listen, bud.